I really hate superhero movies. The films are essentially just two hour long predictable dumbed down advertisements for other films that are two hour dumbed down advertisements. Oh look Iron Man turned up again, must be another Avengers film out soon. Then you've got the stupid comic book fans who say the films are made for us, they're not for you, they're for us, not for you, what are you talking about? And I really hate these comic book militants. Every time a new superhero film is released, these termites, they come out the woodwork quicker than if an aardvark stuck his tongue in a fucking hole, constantly complaining how the movies aren't accurate to their stupid precious comic. These are 40 year olds that complain that Spider-Man's latex isn't red enough or Ben Affleck's bloody quiff isn't suitable for the role of Batman, although his acting was shit so that did prove you right I guess. But these man children have even gone down the route of racism. Wally West was changed to a Muslim actor and comic book fans went batshit crazy. I went onto one of their forums. One tried to justify himself by saying that they are venting their frustrations about something that they have mentally invested in. Why don't you mentally invest yourself into going outside into the real world? Did it really matter? It's not that they changed Flash into a fucking meerkat. If they did that then yeah fair enough. Complain about a guy's skin though. It makes you sound like a moronic bellend. Batman vs Superman had a £250 million budget and made £872 million at the box office. Yet your precious little comic book only made a total of around £579 million for the whole of 2015. A mere pebble skipped along in the Pacific Ocean. The films aren't made for you, to be honest, are they though, really? They're made for the general film goer, who just wants a load of action, good looking nerdy girl, shit loads of explosions and a loose storyline. But I guess that's what mesmerises people. Just as cats like chasing around bits of string on a carpet. Up to a point, I mean, once you've seen 10,000 cars exploding, you've seen them all. I just don't see a point to these films anymore. I mean, The Dark Knight Rises, that was simply about a man who dressed up as a bat and fights a man with a jock strap on his face. Calling Batman The Dark Knight was ridiculous. You're not fooling anybody. It's a children's story about a rich man who dresses up as a bat to punch criminals in the face. No normal adult can relate to it, which makes this story boring, unless you're a child, in which case you can enjoy the bits where he rides his bike around with his cape flapping behind him like a tit. I mean, the upcoming Spider-Man Homecoming reboot film shit for example, I know the storyline already of that. Lots of explosions, Spider-Man survives, Iron Man turns up, advertises the Avengers film that's coming out a couple of months after it, buggers off, ching ching, in a bank account, job done, next. It's easy money, they're never going to lose money on a superhero film, so why would they change it? If the movies only resembled everything penned in your comic, the movies would have been binned years ago. They were not made for you. Think about that before you get all arsy about them changing something or changing an actor. You're a grown man for fuck's sake. Go look at some boobs or something, get a sense of what really matters. Get some vitamin D, stop trying to make the movie experience joyless and cynical just because it doesn't religiously follow, as you do, what Stan Lee draws on a bit of fucking paper. And studios, if you want your film to be more interesting and exotic, just show the villain masturbating into an oven glove while watching stuff on Lively. Then you've got my attention, and you've made a film worth watching.